So come on in everybody, this is a beautiful trailer and there's so many things I want to show you about it. Um, where shall we start? In the kitchen area. These are a, f a hard service countertop. There are I think different grades of it in different uh, levels of the Cedar Creek uh, trailer but this being the silverback edition this is a hard surface it has i like this countertop by the way like there's space here i like that the um sink covers are split so there's two pieces you could leave one in while using the other half of the sink uh, this is an undermount stainless sink can you see that mm -hmm. Okay, I like the tall tap and it pulls down, so that's pretty nice as well. Goes both ways. Do you think this kitchen is accessible when the slide's closed? I'm thinking not really. No. So, when I'm thinking about that, like the slide is going to come in probably to this side definitely not right so you would still have access to the fridge right um but you need to think about that when you're looking at trailers when these slides are in and you're at the grocery store and you're wanting to load up can you get stuff into where it needs to go or do you have to open slides to do probably that? get in the cabinets behind you the fridge um the bathroom okay so, so that's those are your actually, main things actually when it's closed up that that's pretty at. good yeah okay so continuing on in the kitchen um this is closet and shelving now <laughs> this is pretty good <laughs> um those would be easy to reach and get your stuff on i could reach this the rest of it's useless to me I mean, I know it's there and it's good and everything and they got to fill the space, but it's useless to me. I, I, even a stool isn't going to help. Uh, okay, I like these. And again, we're dealing with that space, but wouldn't it be nice if they had put this handle down here and this one down here, like then you could... So the average person could reach it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So uh, let's talk about cabinetry. This is, um, these are our wood uh, doors and drawer fronts. They are plywood uh, drawers themselves. They have uh, metal rollers and gliders that they're on. Uh, are they a soft close? Let me try. I'm so mad at you. Oh, they they are. are. Nice. Nice. Not that we do that often. I'm just saying, if you want to be mad at somebody and slam something. Uh, these are nice. They're deep. I don't mind getting down to get stuff. So I like that. What would really be good though, and maybe they are here somewhere else, but wouldn't it be cool if these were pots and pans drawers? Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Anyways, uh, so we are dealing with a wood cabinetry that's been screwed in place. I'm just... Yeah, they are. So I like this. I like this little bar place. I like this nice backsplash. You know, I like it. I like the window there. It's good. Uh, moving on to the fridge. I'm not sure how big of a fridge this is, but it's pretty big. We have a humongous residential fridge, which I like. Um, but I think this is a great fridge. We would be able to manage with this fridge, no problem. And the bonus of this fridge is I bet you anything it's propane and electric. Or electric. It'll be either one. And I really like that idea. So you can reach everything in it. And look at that. A fully accessible freezer. So I really like this fridge a lot actually. Moving around. What else do we got? <gasps> okay, these are really good. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I love that. I love that. So all your cans and jars and <clears throat> dry goods, and you're not doing this. It is, that is so nice. Now, all I'm saying is that some trailers will have this space, but not have these pull-outs. These are really worth it. I like that. Okay, 
this is a fairly large size microwave, not convection, but that's okay because we got an oven, a really quite a big oven. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's nice. What do we got for stove? If I could lift it up. I don't know how to get it up. Oh, oh I bet it does right the there. Front, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. So this nice Quite look easy, of actually. the countertop yeah. is added onto that. So this lifts up, bends back, and you've got a nice three burner gas stove. I like that. Three burners is important. We only have two and I don't like it so much. I also like that this is um, level with the countertop. Ours is kind of sunken and not loving that. So, moving on, more storage. Mm, see, I'd rather those have pull-outs. Drawers, soft clothes. Okay. Um, do you want to come over here? Did you want to see this? So there's more storage here in the island. Oh, loving this. Can you see that, Corey? I love that. Because you always seem to be climbing under mm -hmm. the sink cabinet. So that's nice. So overall, I think this is a pretty good kitchen. The cabinetry is good. Things are positioned well. Uh, there's lots of storage. Like I said, I'd like that to be pots and pans, but overall, I think this is a really nice, functional kitchen. So moving out of the kitchen into the living room entertainment area, um, this is nice. I'm not sure what size of TV they put in here, but the way I see it, they're all big. I don't even really care about TVs much. We rarely watch ours, but for those of you who love your TV, if the standard TV in here isn't big enough, I'm sure you can get another one. Um, I love the fireplace. I'm cold a lot of the time and being a sometimer, we often leave, you know, when it's February. And for us in Canada, February is a bit of a chilly time. So I would love to have one of these and I don't. This will be electric. So there's lots of storage. Um, Lots of storage that I can't reach unless I want to stand on the couch, which I don't. And, you know, and that's kind of the thing about fifth wheels is they've got all this high space up top, which allows you to feel very like you're in a large space, but it, a lot of it is useless to us. But nonetheless, we like it with tall ceilings. Uh, so I can't reach that, but it's there if I needed it. Nice couch. This is a uh, hide a bed and I believe it'll be an air bed. Um, you know, so when you fold that out, now you can sleep another two adults anyways. Um, or heck, we could fit three in here. <laughs> Are we having someone over? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I love this ottoman. It's just a nice feature, a nice piece to have in here, and everybody likes to put their feet up. Then they've got these recliners, and I believe they're electric because I can't really make them work, and I think that's because they're not plugged in here at the RV show. And yeah, you can reach the buttons. They're really deep, so I suppose if you have longer legs than us, that's cool. But I find it a bit, bit too much. But if you're sitting here watching TV, that's pretty good. What I love about this trailer is there's a ton of windows. Like there's so much light in here, so that's really nice. Um, the the shades are roller shades. And they seem like good, durable roller shades. So I like that. So I wanted to show you the opening of the windows from the inside. Remember, it's the frameless ones outside that aren't like my favorite. And I just wanted to explain that. Um, if you look down here, they have this little turning knob thing. And you turn that and it pushes the bottom of the window out. And that's it. That's the max. So I guess it's probably good for rain and that kind of thing, but as far as airflow, it kind of blocks it. I, I like I like better airflow in my space. So there's that type of window. And then over here, there's a different type of window that has a latch. 
and then slides up and it hooks in these little things up here. So this lets a lot more airflow. I can just feel the air coming in here. A lot more airflow through this window. So I would like this better than that. But then I got to come up here and reach on these things and unlock them to bring it down. So my preference would be this on a side. Unclick it, slide it to the side, you get lots of airflow, it's easy to manage and you close it. So it's probably a more old-fashioned window, but it gets me the airflow I want and it's easy to manage. Are these windows a deal breaker? Would I not buy this trailer because of that? Absolutely not. That's just my personal preference and may not be an issue for anybody else. You've got this cathedral slide, which is nice and high. Uh, again, I don't know why we like the ceiling side, but they just make us feel bigger, I guess. Uh, moving over to the dining area, four-person dining. Um, this table does come out and there'll be a, a leaf in there, so that's good. I always wonder like how sturdy are these, but this seems really quite strong. And uh, the chairs are comfy and again you're sitting amongst those great windows. This trailer has lots of space in here between the island and the table and lots of space to walk around the island, so I really like that. Um, you know, they do use the paneling in this part, and the problem that I have with paneling is not that so much it's paneling, it's that often paneling is stapled and then they don't cover up the staples very well, so just a note to Forest River, could you please cover up the staples? And good, nice lights are in here. Oh, looking at the ceiling, uh, you've got speakers, you've got LED lighting, and you've got ducted air conditioning. And the return vents for your AC, like instead of having that big square thing that's usually up in the ceiling, uh, this has smaller ones, but the AC is ducted throughout. Uh, so that's good. Now, this particular Cedar Creek a silverback model has a 15,000 BTU AC unit. Um, I don't know exactly if this one has more than one, but I know standard is one. But it's a high performance, quiet version. And so I guess it has a compressor that moves more air and it actually uses less power to do that. So those are both important details. And so, well, one thing that we did notice in here, not a lot of USB. There's that we, that we can find. Yeah, there's lots of plugins, um, but we only found this one USB port. We haven't been in the bedroom yet, though. No, like but it's nice there. to have USB yeah. out here. You know where I really think they should have it? In here. Or up here. That's a perfect place because then your cords and your phones and your stuff is kind of tucked out of the way. But anyways, that was just a... So Cedar Creek tells us that they are using a residential vinyl in here. Um, it looks good. It feels fairly durable. Uh, and then as well the carpet. Now, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be much of an underpad or anything under the carpet. And again, they say it's residential, but that can mean anything, right? So I guess it doesn't feel like there's a lot of underpad in there. Just so you know. And then they duct the heating centrally through the floor. So there's two heater vents up here. Um, none up here, hey, which is okay too because I really don't like heater vents in the middle of the floor. Uh, so just on our way through here, you've got your AC. We are pretty sure this is for your awning, putting it in and out. Um, you've got central back, so that's kind of nice. How do you let go there? So I like that. Uh, we can fuse this here as you move on up. You've got your um, slides, your water heater, tanks, that kind of thing. Here's an awning in out. And I believe this screen is probably there so that you can take a look at the level of your tanks and that kind of thing. So come on upstairs and let's go in the bathroom. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's not overly tall. You have a little bit of a skylight up there, but this is pretty big. Um, 
These are kind of cheesy, but you can always change out these kinds of things. This is more of the plasticky stuff, so make sure everything's caulked. I don't like that they don't caulk in these seams. Um, but in general, you know, like it's got nice storage, it's got a nice seat. Can I make the door close? Oh, you don't like this, do you? Why? Oh, well, it depends who's in there. <laughs> yeah, Corey doesn't like the glass doors. He prefers them to be frosted, but you know. I think, I think this is a pretty good, so this is a decent bathroom, it's fairly spacious, I mean you can stand here and you've got, uh, whoops, the door, oh it just has a little, okay I don't like that. Oh what is with that? Well I'm never going to be able to do that and undo that, I don't like that at all, it should be down here. But it's a pocket door, you've got a Dometic, they say it's a porcelain toilet it's just got a plastic lid so you could always change that out too. Uh, some cabinetry so that's pretty decent I could reach everything in there. Good fan, AC, LED. This is a nice sink it's extremely small and I know lots of people prefer taller taps this is fine for me. I'm, in, I'm more interested in countertop space which this has so I'm happy with all that. I like the level of this mirror. I can see myself in there. More storage. So this, I think, I think this is a pretty good bathroom. This is a nice Serta mattress. Um, it is nice. It looks like a queen. It, it? I would say this is a residential queen. And remember, not all things just because they're called queen or king are true residential queen or king. And that affects you if you wanted to trade out the mattress and it affects you when you're purchasing sheets and bedding for it so keep all of those things in mind but I do believe this is a residential queen. Not to mention it affects your leg room right. which is often an issue. Right. No, I think this would have lots of leg room. Again you've got the cathedral slide gives you a little extra you know when we're when you and I are in here and the phone rings and you sit up quick. You're not gonna bang your head. <laughs> That's right. Nice. We're good. Uh, nice closet doors, lots of mirrors, so that helps. That helps with just the general aesthetic of the place and um, when you're trying to check out whether that outfit looks good, because don't ask your husband, he's just going to say yes. Was oh, is that a walk-in closet? This is what I would call a walk-in closet, because I can walk right in it. <laughs> you could shut the door and I'd still be fine. I'm not even hitting the is there lights in there. Uh, there is. There is okay, LED perfect. lighting in here. There is also, I don't know if you want to come or maybe I can show it to you from the other side. Hang on. Oh, double. They have uh, oh, washer dryer. a washer dryer hookup. So if that's what you so choose to put in here, you could, which is nice. So you've got some shelving, you've got some double racks. Um, you've got over here uh, some, I don't know, I don't think this is great. This is not very deep and there's only four of them, but you know, you do have room in there too. And TV, so you could, uh, or would have, I mean they're not going to send you home without a TV in here. I like having the windows in here. I like all the decor in this trailer, all of the, uh, the balances and everything. Um, let's look for those you USB, USB ports? ports. Often they'll be beside the bed. I mean there's this nice little shelf here but yeah no bad <laughs> bad trailer for this this level of a trailer. Unless we're missing something. Unless we're missing something yeah. No, I don't see any. Hmm. Uh, I do see ducting. We've got a good vent. We've got AC ducting. We've got heat ducting. So that's good because you have this nice door that you can shut out the rest of the trailer with. So if you're going to do that, you're going to use your door, you need the ducting in here. 
So I just want to go over all the numbers with you. Now you can get these from your dealership or brochures or even online, but I'll just go through a few of them. At this particular RV show, I'm going through this particular trailer. And remember, options that might be on here might not be on something you're looking at. So that changes price up too. Um, so again, we're looking at the Forest River Cedar Creek Silverback Edition 33IK. We think, because you know what, it's not on this paper. We think this is a 2018 version and it's April of 2018, which means that the 2019s are out. You can have this discussion till you're blue in the face with lots of different people. What the bottom line is, is somewhere in the past, somebody had an engineer and a designer make two models in one year so that they could move ahead a year. So in doing that, it allowed them to say they had a year newer model on the go. Yes, there's probably new features and things that are in that model that weren't in the previous year's model, but I guarantee you in April of 2018, I'm standing in a trailer that was not built in 2019. It was built in 2018, so call it what you want, it's a 2018. I don't know what they're calling this particular trailer and you can go back and forth on that. But I mean, the beauty of all that is if they're calling it a 2019, they'll be reducing the price on this because it's an 18. So you're going to get a great trailer brand new for a better price. So this particular trailer is running at uh, $95,496.80 Canadian. So you can do the conversion on that and of course remember there's options included in that and you could always negotiate those prices. You should be negotiating those prices. So the other numbers that we want to talk about in the 33 IK. The GVW is 14,067 pounds. Um, the hitch weight is 2,067 pounds. The cargo carrying capacity 3,187 pounds. And that's an important one. And also remember that those things can change depending on your tow vehicle and the axles and that kind of thing. So really that's not a standard number and you need to pay attention to the choices that you make and which truck you get. Uh, the exterior length of our 33 IK is actually 36 foot 11 inches. So they're longer than what people think they are. Uh, the exterior height is 12 foot 9. So that's important too when you're backing in or putting it in a garage or something like that. Uh, your fresh water tank is 67 gallons. Your gray water is 80 and your black water is 40. Um, those seem like pretty averages, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't think they're like, holy cow, crazy great, but they're pretty average. You have a 16 foot awning. The other thing I wanted to mention about the tanks is that they are heated with pads. So when they put the tanks in, they put these electric heaters on them to help keep them from getting too cold. And there's been we're back with our final thoughts on the Cedar Creek Silverback 33 IK. Um, there were some pros and cons as usual, but uh, what were your likes? Uh, I like that it's a hung wall and I like that there's panels underneath that uh, you could pull off to access um, plumbing or whatever if you needed to repair. Same with the walls. It'd be easy to, to fix something inside right. the wall. Versus something that's a full a piece. A laminate, yeah. Right. Okay. I liked, uh, well, that kitchen space is always great. There's tons of storage and I love the countertop space. And you know what? I like the general build quality on this. It's a little bit different than some of the other trailers and um, I see the benefits in it. Mm -hmm. So what were your dislikes? Um, I didn't like the TPO roof. I, it's not bad, but the, there is better systems than TPO. Right. Um, the other thing I didn't like was that there wasn't a lot of USB ports. Um, today and with today's electronics, everything's charged or plugged into USB. It'd be nice to see some in the bedroom and some in yeah, other spots. That's important to us. Um, so my dislikes were really quite minor. Uh, I would like a window in the door. There's lots of windows in that unit, but I'd like one in the door as well. And then the other thing was those frameless windows are not my favorite style of window. And again, that's not a deal breaker, but I'd prefer a different type of window. So who do you think should be in this RV? Uh, full timers could use this mm -hmm. easily. Um, weekend, it's good for a weekend. It's 
It's um, more of a couple. More of a couple. It's not really a family rig. I mean, there's another bed, so you could bring yeah. people along or your grandkids or something like that. But I think it's more of a couple's rig size. Do you think size matters on this one? Uh, no, it's kind of a mid-high size. It's I, I think it's good. Um, I don't think it really matters. It's up to personal preference. We didn't really find anything that was a big problem no. on this. Ooh, what about that latch? <laughs> okay, the latch <laughs> the way up. No, was it on the shower? It was on the exterior door, and that latch mm. didn't matter. We wouldn't. We'd never be able to use that latch. But yeah. that was. It would really have to be real. relocated, or we. I'm not using a stool for that. <laughs> no, exactly. So you know, uh, all in all, this was. Uh, not a high-end trailer, but it was a pretty darn nice trailer. Uh, so I, I think, think it was re it was well built. Just, yeah, I think it yeah. was. Uh, so it was kind of mid-grade finishings, and it was pretty nice. I would, if somebody wanted to give it to me, I'd sure be taking it. <laughs> so if this is the trailer for you, I say great. It's a really nice trailer. Get hitched up, and we'll see you on the road. So if you want to uh, see any more of our adventure videos or our Sometimer stuff or other reviews, uh, join us uh, on our YouTube channel at Does Size Matter or on our blog, CoreyAndDenise.com. But don't forget, hit, hit subscribe. subscribe.